what I'm suggesting, I don't know whether Gordon Brown and David Cameron would take up this invitation, is that regardless of the outcome of the general election, that we get the Chancellor and the Shadow Chancellors together, the Governor of the Bank of England, the Head of the Financial Services Authority, to come clean with you about how big this structural deficit is. It's estimated to be somewhere around £70 billion. And straight with you, finally, about how long it is going to take to David fill Cameron. That. There's no doubt the country is going to have to come together to deal with this really big problem of the deficit. I mean, for every £4 that we spend right now, uh, the government is borrowing one of those pounds. But Nick keeps saying he's being very straight with you. In his manifesto is a promise for a £17 billion tax cut. It's a great idea. I'd love to do it, but we don't have £17 billion for a tax cut. Nick Gordon Clegg. is Nick Clegg on that okay. specific we've point. We've spelt out exactly where that money would come from. We would, for instance, stop this grotesque spectacle of this unfair tax system which has been built up under a succession of Labour and Conservative governments where right now a greedy banker in the City of London pays a lower rate of tax on their capital gains than their cleaner does on their wages. Gordon we have a tax Brown. system which Gordon is Brown. Ba unfair. Back to the question Robert put. The, the PCT, the Health Authority, was finding it very difficult because of the situation at the moment. Take thousands of millions out of the economy now Take six billion out of the economy now and think of the risk to jobs and businesses. And I say to the Conservatives, of course we want efficiency savings and of course we want to deal with waste, but we cannot afford to see private investment so small and then public investment cut at this time. David Cameron. And lots of jobs put at risk. Six, Please six, tell us six, you won't do that. Six billion pounds is one out of every hundred pounds the government spends. Now, what small business in this recession, what big business, hasn't had to make that sort of decision? Many people making a much bigger decision. Turn it round the other way and think about it like this. Gordon is effectively saying, I want to go on wasting money now, so I put up your taxes later. Gordon Why Brown, should we, we pay our taxes for government waste? We've got a responsibility for the overall growth rate of the economy. We've got to get this economy moving forward. You can't do it with private investment alone. The government has got to play its role. Now, next year, we'll make these bigger savings. And, of course, we're going to pay uh, for health and for education and for policing by what we do on national insurance. But this year, don't pull the money out of the economy. Don't put good people's jobs and their businesses at risk. David now. Cameron.